All right, this is just a rant about this this microscope I bought on on eBay, e dumpster, e pay, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's got this pseudo um, what we call a gooseneck. It's not really a gooseneck. Um, it it's shaped like a gooseneck. It's got I think a rod of 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 uh, lead maybe in there, some type of tubing of lead, and you have to bend this. Uh, it clicks down at the bottom, but at the top it doesn't. So if you don't do something about that. This could drop off and you could ruin it. So what I did was uh, I put a little bit of silk and caulking in between and, and put it in a position and let it cure. Okay, that's so this won't, if I pick this up, this won't drop off on me. Okay, now I want to show you Chinese. Well, you just don't understand Chinese. No? Okay, look at that stand. Look at the picture on the box. Okay, that's the suction cup model. Now, look at here another one. Uh... Nice side panel. Let's move this out of the way. Side panel. Variant stand. What is? What the hell does that mean? Uh, does this little little white label here? Does that? If you understand this code, can you tell what's in this box? Okay. That's the problem with Chinese crap. Now, uh, I paid ninety dollars. I was supposed to get this one here with the aluminum stand. What I got was something slightly worse, okay? Now, this one here is the uh, the gooseneck. They're showing you you can bend an S-curve in it. And none of these are, are, they're all aiming on an angle. So that shows you whoever drew this doesn't know that a microscope has to aim down. Well, anyway, that's the way this is this is gone. I paid 90 bucks for it. This, this actual uh, unit, if you actually get it on eBay, it's 58 bucks with shipping. Uh, 58 including shipping I paid 90 so I'm gonna I'm gonna give the person uh, a bad review because they don't know what they're doing China doesn't know what they're doing eBay doesn't care and that's where I'm at and then the other annoying thing is uh, I tell you uh, my number one hobby is going for a walk and uh, two of the guys I sort of walked with or hung out with they both died within a few hours of each other two weeks ago okay that's one thing that's bugging me. Then the other thing, too, is whenever a bad storm is coming here, uh, the locals will tell you, ah, uh, they tell you on the news it's going to be bad. Right? Well, this cyclone bomb, whatever, hit yesterday. Power went out. There was a 70-car pileup on the highway, you know. Every time. Uh, every time the people put their recyclables out here and the company that's supposed to pick them up doesn't pick them up, they don't bring them back in. The wind comes along blows it all over the streets they don't care so I go around and I pick up the stuff and I bring it home to my garbage okay but it's I'm surrounded by idiots okay and uh, there's no fix in it like I told the one guy I said uh, it's gonna get really windy tonight and they're not gonna pick up the recycling when he starts going on to one of his, his dances I said that's the truth they're not coming that's the way it's going. And uh, he did bring his stuff in. But the other houses, they left it out. They'll leave it out for a week. They like get mad. They didn't come. So, and then it blows around. But there's things that, uh, if you if you, if you you do a lot of reading, they always tell you uh, the good old days weren't really that good. I think they were. Okay. I, at first, I, I believe that. You know, it's your perception of, of life and that. But things have gotten so complicated and annoying you know years ago if you wanted a microscope you went into the local department store you looked at what they had uh, you talked to the salesman and he'd say if it isn't what you want bring it back well you can't do that anymore when you're buying stuff online with people that can't speak English okay and then they, they use that as a, as a crutch you know uh, they don't answer your emails you know, so you got to give them a bad review. And then they just have to start another account and start sucking in more people. But that's where I'm at now. Uh, oh, the circuit here that I come up with, the, the three-tuned uh, turbine coil. Last night I hung an antenna on it. I put this amplifier that's there on it. And I was able to get more shortwave stations with a crystal detector on it, a diode, a 1N34, than this piece of shit can get, okay? Uh, if I could I could get the station on the crystal radio, I'd verify it on my R, um, 
was it 380 whatever the hell it is 390 and then I get the frequency I key it in this one and it would this would barely get it okay it was hilarious okay this is such a piece of turd and other people oh they're really good they got a wide frequency you don't know what you're talking about you never saw a real good shortwave radio you never had to go on and if you're hooking it to a, a great outside antenna that's what's doing all the work okay and I'm gonna go into this new mode I'm gonna to try to go one full year without buying anything okay um, stuff for the house yes okay maybe I'll fix my shed outside and uh, maybe shampoo my rugs but as far as dealing with electronic stuff and Chinese people I've had enough uh, you go online and uh, you buy a couple of resistors and it's 85 cents or two bucks and then the shipping seven that's not a hobby anymore that's a masochistic nonsense okay uh, I, I, I don't even want to go there with stuff but in other words uh, every time I touch something now I have to order it it doesn't always show up on time uh, this camera this this microscope took two weeks to get here I could have ordered it directly from China but instead I ordered it from Massachusetts or whatever it is and it's still a Chinese person or a person that can't speak English it, it, it always goes that way and uh, I understand there's people that can't get a regular job so they, they put stuff on eBay and there's all kinds of problems I read their side of the of the complaint you know I know this I told you the story about the Kaburu antennas and this is basically the same type of crap okay but in the case of the Kaburu antennas uh, I, I was sitting in the barber chair and the guy he actually had one apart and I looked at the quality of the build of the trunk mount antenna and I bought 144 of them a gross and we sold I sold them out I should say we I, I sold them out at the radio shack out of the back of my car because people would come in and they'd say um I got a, a, a CB radio as a gift I can't find an antenna anywhere and I say hey buddy I'll take care of you and I'd walk them out to my car I used to park my car in the front of the store in the fire zone and the firemen would never give me a ticket because we used to give them free batteries that's the way the world really works okay and people could pull in the fire zone behind me and then get a ticket it was hilarious stuff but anyway uh, I'd walk them out to the car I open the trunk and uh, you'd end up pulling the car up and I ended up putting the uh, antenna together and tuning it you, you actually I had to cut the uh, the rod the bottom of the rod and then to, to get to really get it in uh, on channel I think it was 19 back in those days but uh, the build quality was really good and I could see what I was actually buying when you buy stuff on eBay uh, you you can't really hold it in your hand and look at the build quality see on this thing here uh, it's it's got battery built into it uh, it'll it'll basically uh, uh, record what you're doing uh, there is a there is a uh, a, a, a knob behind here I could change the brightness okay and the knob barely comes out to the surface behind here it's very poor build quality and uh, but that's the way the world's going okay let's see if we can see Japan on this all right let's try the brightness I did focus uh, seeing the scratches on the top there it is Japan, Japan. This is going to take a while to get used to this. You know, I used to work under a microscope. See, that's the other thing. This, this has so much amplification or magnification. And notice, you know, how, how, how flimsy this is. That's why you want the aluminum one if you can get it and I guarantee you that's got some type of problem oh it's not even in the frame okay so as I was moving this you couldn't see it oh that's another thing this camera here uh, looks like it's looking at something else and uh, you know China on the label it's all it's you, you sort of keep you sort of keep putting up with the same stuff let's see does it say Japan nice and we could change the brightness Notice you can see all the scratches on the top of, of that unit. Now let's find the brightness. Okay, so it actually looks real. But 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm ranting again. You know, that's because I keep going and making the same mistakes over and over. One of the mistakes is I buy stuff from eBay. Second mistake, I buy something made in China. Okay? And I don't like buying something that's uh, older. You know, that's good quality because the only place you can find it is on eBay and it's going to be bodged. The real good stuff gets sold amongst friends. You don't have to put it on eBay to get rid of it. Now, there are dealers that go around to the um, Goodwill and they grab stuff and then they put it and you, you get a decent thing. All right? But most of the time, you get it. It's it's the, They took pictures of it and didn't show you that someone's drilled holes in the thing. I've gone through all this, you know, or someone's done this or they dropped it. There's a big dent in it. There's a big crease. And they make sure they photograph it in such a way that you don't see the dent or the missing screws, or and a lot of that, that's what I've been doing. I mean, one bad thing after another, and the price range of stuff. I didn't go cheap. This is the ninety dollar microscope. I got the fifty eight dollar microscope, and the person put the picture. You know, I can show you the picture they put up there. Let's shut this off. Why would you put battery operated? Well, anyway, um, that's the picture they put up, and that's what I got. Uh, and this is the picture on the box. Okay? Uh, so, you're doomed right from the start. Okay? This is just to show you what go wrong for you. And uh, a lot of people uh, in different conferences, they talk about building and making stuff. I can tell they don't because they don't have any complaints. Okay? Uh, when you try to build stuff, you, the, uh, the curve of learning is hard and locating and securing the parts you need. And even old tube stuff, uh, the price is really shot up on it. The command radios are up at $90. They're not worth $90. You have to put another $40 into them to get them working. Oh, that's to get it working. Then you still need the power supply, which would be another $40. So now you got $200 in a tube radio that can be replaced by a $50. What the hell is it? DX390? DX I want to tell you. Uh... You got make sure you get one of these if you're into radios, a DX390. Um, it might have a burnt out front end. Be aware of that. But I have a DX over here. Uh, what the hell is it? DX398. And uh, I wanted to do sideband last night. And it, I, it's not as easy to work as this one. And this has better sound. It, the batteries last longer. You get it cheaper when you buy it. The whole thing. I, I, did, a, I did a video years ago on this why I bought this thing. And I use this thing all the time. And uh, like even last night when I was using the crystal radio uh, for shortwave, uh, I, would, I was locating what the frequency was on, the, on this radio just so I could tune it in on the, uh, the software-defined radio. And then a lot of you are saying, well, that's, that's the Chinese version of the Russian. The Russian's a copy of the other real unit. See, there's a, there's a radio that's a shortwave receiver transmitter. And they took the circuit from that, and then they put it in a little box, and they used their own software. And there's no shielding. Now I, I understand the new models coming out will have shielding. It's the same as the CNC machines. I was into CNC machines, showing people how to make them out of hardware source stuff, materials. And these guys come along with this maker slide. And they made the machine too big, and there was all kinds of flexing problems. They used drive belts, then they changed the threaded rod. Basically... They brought the hobby back to where I had it, but they had already put me out of business because people don't know any better. Uh, Cy Sims um, used to be uh, a clothing company. He used to say, an educated consumer is our best customer. And what he was is he was selling suits that were basically copies of other suits, and they were the same quality. So if you went in and looked at a suit and you knew quality and the stitching and all that, you could buy from Cy Sims at one-third the price of a real suit, or the one that is hyped up. Now, if your friends are the type that look for the label name and stuff like that, you're kind of screwed. What'd you do? Go to Cy Sims? You know, an educated consumer is our best friend. But what do you want in life? Do you want a good quality, or do you want the name? Okay, now I can also tell you that Pepsi and Coke taste better than all those make-believe Cokes. Okay? Uh, after you drink a cheap cola for a while, uh, you, you, you'll, you'll think it's okay, but then you switch back to Coke or Pepsi, and it just has a better taste. Uh,
most of the time the variant even potato chips okay uh, the better brand is the better brand the chief cheese puffs uh, they're close but they're not as good as the original brand okay so there is there is a difference but uh, when you're on eBay uh, the gloves are off you're, you're gonna be a victim when you contact the seller they're gonna make believe they don't know uh, they're gonna play the game and then in the conference they're gonna complain that the the buyer cheated them and they didn't know because they're out to cheat the seller and uh, you know you you put you put the item online you take some pictures and then uh, you run out of the item and then you go buy another batch from China and it's different but you never change the pictures and then someone like me comes along and I want the aluminum stand I pay the ninety dollars it's it's always mysterious too that they take the picture of the better model but they sell you the cheaper model hoping you won't notice or you won't you won't fall through to get even with them I'll get even with the with the uh, with the review or the rating okay because I don't have the time uh, that I want to be that aggravated going to the to going to the post by office sending it back hoping they give me credit and they don't pull the uh, we never got it that's the thing too and you see that in, in the eBay uh, uh, rating system if you read it you'll say I sent the unit back and they claim they never got it that's a mistake okay and you're not going to give get them to give you the money back unless they get the unit and then if they do get the unit they're so overwhelmed with sales they don't follow through you got to keep following through and you're going to spend two hundred dollars in your time and frustration to get thirty dollars back and that's the game of eBay and eBay doesn't care because they make a percentage of every sale and that's how the world really works it's like I told you uh, I used to park in the fire zone and I used to give the firemen free batteries which I didn't pay for I worked in radio shock I just grab some batteries out of the, the, the uh, free battery bin, hand them the batteries, and they'd go on their merry way. And they would never give me a ticket because they knew I worked in the radio shack. But anybody else pulled behind me, they would get told or they'd get a ticket. And then they come in all, how come your car doesn't get a ticket? And I just make believe I didn't hear them. And that's the real game. That's how the world really works. Okay? And I find myself, being older, not in any of those good positions anymore. Okay? Uh, and then eBay is not really going to be on your side. If the person's a power seller, eBay's looking. This guy's bringing in two thousand dollars a week, um, or maybe a thousand dollars a week to eBay, and eBay doesn't care about you. You've already bought. You've already been stolen. You've already been robbed. Okay, that's how the real world works. I think that's it. All right, that's it.